Here we're going to take a look at a new form of a function. Right now, functions take values in, make copies of the values that are being passed to it, and use it locally. All right, so like in this little function here, find some has two inputs of integers, uh, and it takes it down below here, and you see it calculates, adds them up, and returns the sum value, right? what x plus y equals. Returns that value here, and then assigns the value to the sum, and this program outputs the value. All right, up the top we have our function prototype, telling us it returns an int, and it takes two integers as input. When you run this program, right, with the values that are there, you get a 7. The 3 plus the 4 is a 7, comes back to here, we put 7 into the, the sum, and then we output the sum. Okay, now we're going to look at um, arguments with parameters that are defaulted. And what you can do is, we'll start here with the y, and we can set y to have a value if the call does not provide one. So we'll put a 10 there. And what that means is, I'm going to copy these two lines. Alright, and we'll call this sum again, but this time we're going to leave out value 2. Alright, and you see there's no errors. Alright but I'm only passing one value in now, even though it has two parameters. And what happens is it will take the value that value 1 has, copy it into x, and since there is no second param uh, argument, the second parameter gets a value of 10. So it will be the 3 from value 1 plus the 10 from the default of y. So default meaning if no parameter is provided, use the default value. So in this case, if we were to run this, We'll see the 7 again, and then we'll also see the 13, which is the 10 plus the 3. So default values allow you to change the amount of parameters that are passed in. So there's the 7, and then the 13. But the uh, default parameters have to start from the right side and move towards the left in terms of, I cannot come in here and say, okay, well, x is my default and it's going to default to a 6. All right, there's no way to skip the first parameter in a call. All right, it's expecting two parameters here, and that's why you see this does not compile correctly. And you get a little squiggly line telling you that. All right, it has to be at the end of the parameters. You can't have one in the middle, you can't have one at the beginning. The last one has to be one, then the one before it, and so forth. All right, but we can make both of these defaults. We'll put this one back to a 10. And everything should be happy. Right? It is. It'll take these two and still add them up to be 7. It'll take the 3 and add it to the 10, giving you the 13. And then I can, should be able to call this again with no parameters, meaning then it will use the two defaults, which should then give us a total of 16. Right? And that's what we should see displayed now. So again, the default parameters must start from the right hand side and move towards the left and there we go the 7, the 13, and the 16. Alright, so it's a way to use a function and use some of its default values if you need it. Okay, so these are default parameters arguments that allow the, pro the function to still work even with less um, arguments provided to it. In this one, in this case we have three possible ways of calling this function with two parameters, one parameter, or no parameters.